Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powdered Toy and I've taken the first user suggestion from Christopher Wood. And as you will see, Thorium is now in the game. Let's talk about Thorium a bit. So I actually followed the real life physics of Thorium a little bit. It is a little bit less dense than a... Uranium, it has the correct melting point, all of that exciting stuff. But where it really shines is its ability, which I took the suggestion from the comment, which was to make it so that when it gets hit by neutrons, it increases in heat and deletes the neutrons. So as you can see, we're going to put this thorium in here and we're going to just, uh, you know, what, how about we just go ahead and throw some cologne in and have it do the job for me. And we will just go ahead and have it make some neutrons. So as you'll see, the thorium is gaining temperature. And like all things I make, it's going to be runaway. So it's going to be exponential. So as it gets hotter, it's going to get hotter at an increasing rate, making it hard to control if you let, you, let it get beyond a certain point. Sorry, I'm, I'm tired. I, I've had to move a lot of stuff today. My stuff's finally here. See the chair? Wow, it's very exciting, but there's a ton of boxes behind me and a lot to do. So, as you can see, it's starting to melt, and we're getting a full-on meltdown now. And goodbye, Thorium. I do have a few ideas for reactors you can make with this. Actually, the most uh, interesting idea I've had is having a liquid-based reactor. So, hear me out, if we put the, uh, by liquid-based, I I know most reactors use liquid for the actual, like, transfer um, of energy, but I'm thinking that we could actually just put thorium under a layer of water, and because neutrons, I believe, pass through water, yeah. Okay. This is a uh, this is an interesting design even for me. So, let's see how this goes. If I make like a half circle here, with a hole for steam to escape eventually, like so. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and then I just top this off. Oh God, what have I done? All right, there we go. Fantastic. And then if we go ahead and we clone some beautiful beautiful neutrons in the top here i think i may be onto something is it in it is it's increasing in heat it's working okay so if this is hmm okay so the water is actually boiling okay the only issue is going to be the amount Okay, I think it's too many neutrons, first off. And second off, we need a way for new, fresh water to enter the system. So I will go ahead and make two pipes which insert water. Actually, I'll just uh, do this. Grab some clone, put some fresh water. I don't know, I'll just do a boop, boop, boop get water going into the system. Okay, I need a little bit of encouragement for the water to enter. Okay, more encouragement? Uh, geez, I'm having a little bit of trouble here, folks. The pressure is so high, holy, okay, so we need, we really need a fan to get the pressure out of here. Okay, pressure is dropping. This needs to go down. This may look a little bit insane, but what you see here is true scientific discovery. That's that's what we're calling it, because I don't want to say it's a mess out loud. <laughs> true sci- oh! Okay, 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 okay. I just want to say, it doesn't look like much, right? It doesn't look that impressive, but Look at the amount of heat and steam we're getting out of this bad boy. Like, that is a pretty consistent, consistent stream. And if I actually copied this, uh-huh, like, yeah, we're gonna try to be real fancy here. Uh, oh, see? I am so skilled occasionally. 
Oh, shoot. I made a mistake. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. You have to, like, delete the other half and then paste it, or it'll do weird stuff. Oh, shoot. I'm one off. I think I hate it when that happens. So close yet so far. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We aren't even leaking neutrons any- Okay, we aren't leaking many neutrons anymore. Look at that engine, though. That is an insane amount of heat energy and power we're getting out of there. I mean, of course, we are using a fan to help, but I think even if we removed that fan... Yeah, we don't even need the fan. We're still getting super, super high amounts of energy out of this. Look at that! The casing on this at the bottom gets super hot as well, which could be harnessed, but geez, uh, this is actually kind of neat. This is a thorium engine using neutrons and uh, thorium to create a massive amount of steam. And actually, dare I say it, I think I can make it better. Watch this. This is going to be kind of dumb, so hear me out. We catch the steam, and we put it back in. Uh-huh. It, it's kind of like the general idea for a reactor like this to reuse the water. So, if I do this, and then I beautifully just plop that like that and we catch it catch it here go like this boom boom very hot and then all we have to do is get insulation to ensure that we don't like accidentally move too much heat over here which causes it to not be steam uh or <laughs> turn into steam in here we don't want it to be steam at this point we want it to be steam later okay open this open this okay i'm feeling good i'm feeling good i'm feeling good you know, at the very top here, we just need to put a little bit of freeze powder to uh, convince convince things to go in the correct direction. All right, there we go. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Now we get rid of the clone. Now we get rid of the clone. Oh my god! I think we've done it. We just need a few fans to keep this going in the correct direction. Holy moly, folks. Would you look at that? We have made a full-fledged thorium engine. I mean, that is hot, literally. Look at the steam going through. The water is getting- oh my god, this may be one of the more attractive engines I've ever made. Look, look at that. That is- that is good stuff right there. Oh my god. It's actually balanced well. If we were harnessing the energy from this, we could do great, great things for the world. Great things, like build bigger bombs. <laughs> Yay! I'm I'm actually surprised. Okay, so one second. I'm gonna save this. Uh, Thor, Thorium engine because I'm quite proud of this. This turned out really well actually, and uh, even though it's kind of going more to the right side than the left, I don't know why that's happening. Okay, so now what I'm kind of curious about is if we increased neutron production. Everyone is shouting in the background, Spike, no! No, that's not gonna end well! I know. <laughs> I know very well how this is going to end, and so do you. But that's why you're watching, right? You want to see crazy things happen. Alright, we are doubling neutron production. Alright, temperature has just passed 200 degrees Celsius. Temperature is about to pass 250 degrees Celsius. 
the temperature of the steam is getting real hot and it's not converting fully into water anymore. Uh, it's uh, We're getting a little bit of steam on the return now. Temperature has reached 400 degrees Celsius. Things are getting a little bit dicey as now the return is pretty much all steam. The steam is still picking up energy though and it's still managing to cool it because it's the steam is colder than the massively hot thorium which is now at 500 degrees. It looks like the blockage is gone at least so good, good, fantastic. The thorium is now reaching 600 degrees, 7, 800 degrees, wow that was fast. Uh, 900 degrees, 1,000 degrees. The thorium is about to begin turning into its liquid state at like 12 something, and the titanium won't last much longer. Uh, do I see any liquid thorium yet? No, I don't. Not yet. 1300 degrees. 14, it should be liquid by now. I must have screwed up the temperature. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, 1500 degrees. Okay, it's, oh, now I'm starting to see it turn into liquid. It's, oh, yep, yep, we're starting to have a little bit of a melty. Melty melt. <laughs> Little Chernobyl over here. It is actually hard to melt this down though, compared to like plutonium. Like this is far safer. Which is realistic because thorium reactors are a safe design for reactors in the real world. Fun facts with Spike. Trust me, those ones aren't designed by me, so they are actually safe. They're designed by actual scientists and people who know what they're doing. I'm trying to open this up to get the flow on the right to be a bit better. I don't really know what's going on. It's actually stable at 1600 degrees. I I don't I don't know how. Oh, we'll we'll be right back. All right, we are back. Let me make a note that this is actually stable even with this insane amount of neutrons. Uh, oh, actually, I did melt into it a little bit, but mostly stable, like me. <laughs> Um, but if we turn down the ambient heat and let the heat actually go out into the uh, surrounding area, it would probably be far more stable. I'm not going to do that because that's less fun, and uh, I want to see it melt down. So we are going to... I mean, you want your full money's worth if you're watching my video. You want to see a meltdown. Like this, this, is, this is a known fact. This is what you're here for. Alright, there we go. We have increased the amount of neutrons further, haphazardly putting clone down because I felt like it. We're at 1400 degrees. 1500 degrees. 1600 degrees. We're starting to get molten thorium now. We can see it up there. It's actually starting to... Oh no, is that the titanium coming up? <gasps> that might be why it's cooling down. There's like a titanium like shell growing to the top of it because of how... Th it's like an automatic meltdown prevention. I didn't even think of that. When the titanium melts, it floats up and becomes a shield against the neutrons. And if we skim that shield off, you can see that we very quickly get a meltdown condition. That is insane! We, we have accidentally d invented a meltdown proof system. It will actually stop itself from melting down. Fantastic! That's a great spot to leave the video because I'm actually very, very impressed. Thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. I know you're going to ask for the download link, I'm working on it. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not actually that sad, I'm quite happy because this is working. You know, there's almost no better feeling than when something just works that you didn't expect. Like, I did not expect the thorium reactor to work that well. You know what? 
Maybe having an actual chair feels almost as nice. My back is very happy right now. But, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you... What? If you enjoyed. Ugh. And I will see you all next time. Peace. I'm... I'm so tired. Yeah.